and in your garage, ready? Too, let's go on your small auto mechanics fixing your lawnmower welcome everyone to jl season 12a this time in uh, hockenheim it's not the first time we've raced here i'm not sure if jl actually race here uh when what okay yeah, i don't believe so okay Ooh. it seems we had uh, some kind of uh some kind of bug happened to master Let's ignore that. Uh, he wasn't spectating, right? Doesn't make sense because he was in CC. Yeah, it seems he seems okay. seems fine now, but he wasn't on spec. Yeah, I'm not too sure. We'll just take it as an anomaly and keep going. Okay, let's go, guys. Uh, guys, Sniper gonna, and Nico. Ready up. Alright, here we go. This time, for realsies. The uh, Hockenheim GP, the German GP. Uh, for JL Season 12A. This is uh, one of the legendary, aptly amazing tracks. Um... Probably one of the most popular out of the base tracks made by Apli. Uh, it has good racing, is quite faithful to the original track it's based on, and um, and yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a fan favorite. It has good racing despite uh, the tricky last section here that we see Krunk driving through, and that last corner will probably cause some issues to uh, someone. Uh, you can do it quite flowy, but you still have to uh, be careful. So uh, yeah. as we come out of the first um, the first lap, we can see Flix taking a sub-27 with a hefty lead of half a second over Nakes in P2. Oh, 26.5 is a very strong lap. I'm gonna be uh, very much shocked if anyone can beat that. Flix is very much on the pace as we get ourselves just past the second lap, a few improvements. A lot of mid pack shuffles, but not too many people improve from their first laps. But it is a uh, Flix and Emery on the front row, as is Nix and Niccolo 9 behind those two. Only three drivers have gotten past the 27 second barrier. See if anyone else can break through that as we are wrapping up one last lap of qualifying. Oh, it's like Nix. Nabbed uh, the P2. P2. Yeah, right at the end. Yeah. Alexi up to fourth as well. But it will be Flix on pole position here for the HRT Cloud team. Perfect start to the season for him. Nakes will join him on the front row for his first JL race. And it's Emery in third for the Solaris team. Arthur Racing's Alexi Drozdov in P4 with that final and then it's Priya and URTD Master, the BBB Fiji Falcons, filling out the third row of the grid. Niccolo 9 will have to settle for P7. Alongside Bunyo, it's James. Then it's Red Loster and Gregor Cash, who will round out our top 10. Axperial starts in P11. Then it's Hippocat, Mr. Crunk in 13th, our first independent. Then Amwar, Mascabrevis, Fox in 16th. Then it's Tixman, Knapper, and Vepia rounding us off. Very spread out grid outside of the top uh, 10 or so. Really close between 5th and 10th place. Just uh, about 1 tenth between those drivers. Yeah, and we actually see that uh, P5, 6, and 7 are all tied with the same exact uh, lap time. So we'll have to see yeah, who so starts we'll in to... front. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but, but it was a good showing for the Fiji Falcons and Archon taking uh, between 4th and 7th. And you have to think, uh, Flix is already uh, flexing his muscle a little bit. I'd say he is the uh, the title favourite out of everyone uh, in attendance at the moment, though we have a few challenges right up against him. Be hoping to see 
Um, we're hoping to see how uh, tight this battle wing will become in uh, just a few moments' time, of oh, course. Say Nakes. Nakes is probably right up there for favorite. favorite. Say Nakes is very strong. Emery and Alexi Drozdov are definitely in that fight as well. We're getting underway. 27 laps of the Hockenheim ring right now for JL Season 12A. And it's Flix getting off with a great start here. A little shaky from Nico09 falling down into the mid pack as we head into the hairpin for the first time. Nakes goes super wide with Alexi Drozdov. They're going to lose a bunch of positions. It's Priya and URTD Master up into the top four. The BBB Field G Falcons having a great start. Alexi fighting his way back through the field. It's Emery and Priya fighting for P2, but is Flix away after one lap here. And uh, interesting for Priya as well to be on this hard tyres and making such an impressive start here as the clouds are rolling in under the skies here in Hockenheim. Yeah, and immediately we can see um, some packs... Um being created here we can see uh Flix being uh chased by URTD Master uh Emery seems to have fallen off a bit and he has he Priya and Alexi on his well. tail yeah just in the back of the field uh the the uh the back marks at the moment really are absolutely bunched up as uh, we see some of the uh some of the grids finding some trouble here Priya just unable to get through the hairpin tightly he will lose the position to Nax here Maybe not on his screen yet. Next is in front on our view. Prim might have to follow through and take that slipstream, but he might have lost it in those last two corners before the end of that lap. Alexi Jozdo trying to fight here into turn two. Gets a good uh, dive in, but doesn't get the exit speed he wanted there. Back to the front, though. Blix, URTD Master, and Nakes are top three at the moment. And uh, Priya, the highest running driver on the hard tyres, is in fifth. Emery between those two in P4. Gregor Cage and uh, Bunny Oates James also on the hard tyres, as well as Masca Bravis, who is uh, at the very back of the field, just trying to get some extra slip to uh, make those hard tyres worth it, of course. Into lap five now, and Flix has built up a quite the lead. Nickel 09 is our first retirement for the season. He is out after just five laps of running. Oh, and, tricky uh, overtake yeah, here by Xperial on uh, Gregor Kaj. He's trying to make the move here. Gregor Kaj feeling uh, really stout with that defense at the moment. He's holding on to the position. Xperial does have the overspeed. It doesn't get a great look. And actually, Riggs Lobster is going to try and take, a, take interest into this. They're going three wide into the hairpin. This battle between three... Relatively new drivers. Red Lobster looks to have gotten through on Gregor Cage, but Gregor has the inside. No, he hits the grass. He's lost another position there. Axpero getting through quite nicely here. It's Flix still ahead. The gap's pretty much stabilized at about 2.2 .2 seconds here. Yeah, we see a big ahead battle for P4, though. Big battle for P4 and a battle for P2 because you are to the master is right on Nexus' tail as well. Priya is trying to bunch up through the field as well because he is oh. starting to realize that his hard tires are being a lot stronger than the softs at the moment. There was a yeah, big mistake from Master, Master just before he, he pitted. Yeah. yeah. And the first stops as well for the race. Nakes going for the undercut. URTD Master and Alexi Drozdov also following into the pit lane as well. So Nakes onto a f second set of ha uh, soft tires. Sitting right in, uh, right behind Bunny Oates James, who want to be able to uh, get through the Ferro Verde very quickly now. His higher tyres will be uh, slowing down quite a lot. Flix also in. The response is going to be swift, and it should result in Flix holding onto the lead, and that's going to give uh, Priya the lead to the Grand Prix for the time being. Emery also trying to make something work on those nine lap old soft tyres. It's Bunny on James. Uh, Bunny on James in P4 now. Nakes not able to get past him just yet. Getting further back on the field as well. Gregor Cash still uh, holding off. Alexi Drozdov in seventh now, trying to catch up to uh, to the soft drivers in front of him. URTD Master has made the move on Nakes. I'm not too sure how that occurred there, but he is on uh, fresher tyres. Though he is on the mediums. We'll see how that plays out. Alexi Drozdov also on the medium tyres. Greg Cash still holding on to the hards. Priya and Bunny Oates James, two and three, have not stopped yet. Uh, 
we see a, a fierce battle here. Is retired. A uh, fierce th battle actually, here between Kronk yeah. and Lobster with x just um, oh coming up behind them. Oh my god. Yeah, x thought there was a gap there. He uh, saw Kronk going really wide and Kronk dives straight into the pits there. I've actually gotten a little bit of notice there, but uh, apparently uh, I had a there was an incident between x and Nickel that actually resulted in Nickel's retirement here. Not too sure if that is... Uh, Veri uh, that is veritable, but it is uh, what I've heard through the grapevine. Go back to the race though, Flix is really extending his gap on Nakes now. Nakes just getting past Bonyots James at last. But the gap is about 3.5 seconds as they exit the hairpin. Priya also um, still trying to fight away on those hard tyres, but it's going to be quite tough given the uh, given they still haven't made that stop yet. They won't. Uh, Bunyo will. Priya will not. He'll be hoping on the slipstream of his teammate here. URTD Master in P3 on the mediums. We be trying to go for an overcut here on uh, the two drivers in front of him. But it's Flix far and away now. Really building up that gap to Nakes. And it's just looking way too comfortable for him at the moment. The Fiji Falcons 3 and 4. Then it's Alexi Jozdov in 5th. Bonyots, James, Emery, Red Lobster in P8. Axperio, um, in the league of his, uh, league of his own now in P9. Head of Gregor Kaj and Hippocat. Oh, Priya just, uh, left the pits now. Oh, dear. And she is, uh, P7 behind Emery, who yep. actually fell down the order a bit. A little bit. Will Priya be hoping for that one-stop strategy? Oh, that's a big mistake. Big error to have happen on your outlap, of course. Priya finding himself challenged by Red Lobster here. He doesn't want to be uh, in too many incidents. Oh no, he goes super wide into the stadium section. And that's invited Red Lobster right back into it. That's going to be a big, um, really, really poor uh, outlap for Priya there. That will really hurt his chances of uh, maybe holding on to that podium. Especially given that uh, potentially this will be uh, the set of ties he finishes the race in. Yeah. Flick still in the lead. Nex has gone for a second step onto the soft tyres, so he is going for a three-stop here. Oh! We're having to deal with Alexi Jozdov, who hits the wall there, loses a bunch of times, and uh, Bunyo's James as well is uh, trying to keep onto that slipstream of Nex. I think he's still on it for the time being. He might just be outside, though. Into the hairpin, and uh, no, he's just barely out of reach. Yeah, you want to do master in P2 now. He's struggling on those mediums. Flix is in off the softs, going onto the hard tires for the rest of the race. He's feeling comfortable to go for the two stop and uh, hold on on the hards. We'll have to see if Nakes can maybe really push these soft tires to go. Amwa is out of the race into the pit lane and out here. Yeah. Running in the back of the field for most of it just has not uh, boded well for him this race. Uh, that was probably that's going to be our second retirement of the race. That's probably one of those situations where uh, the first car hits the wall and the ones behind just hit the back of the car, which is very unfortunate. And uh, it definitely cost uh, Alexei possibly uh, a position there. Alrighty, Alexei in and out with some fresh medium tires. We'll be hoping to go to the end on those ones. So will Emery who's coming out in P9, just ahead of his teammate, Xperial, will be having to pit relatively soon as well. Gap between, uh, the gap between Flix and Nakes is um, getting cut down considerably, but Nakes will have to pit one more time uh, to make this strategy work. Priya now into P4 as UT UR2D Master makes his final stop onto the softs, potentially. Be looking... Strategy-wise, he might be looking at a potential P2 here. We'll have to really uh, get past his teammate quickly. No! They, they find some trouble here, the uh, Fiji Falcons, but it is URTD Master through on Priya and into P4 on the road. Funny yeah. James is five seconds up on these two in P3. It's looking quite good for uh, the Fiji Falcons, actually. Uh... Even though uh, Priya might have lost um, quite some time with the hearts, she also got some uh, some slipstream and managed to uh, to keep herself in the front back. Uh, but now the problem is that she she will be losing time to basically all of the soft and medium runners for the rest of the of the race. 
Oh, for sure. And the next one ahead, Alexei Drozdov is actually just gaining a little bit on Priya every time, so I wouldn't be surprised if just in a few laps time, um, Alexei tries to make that move for P5. But is Flick still ahead? Nakes is actually losing time now. The uh, soft tyre is not really working for him, and he is in for his final stop. The three stop when working out. Bonio's James also joins him in the pits now. They're both going on the soft tyres. And after that strategy from Bonio, it's James running. Oh, oh my goodness, the rain is coming. That's huge. If Nakes just timed that just a tiny bit better, that would have really worked out in his favour. But it's now URTD Master and Nakes fighting side by side. And uh, this has really gone into Master's favour here. The rain is just about to head in. And our drivers are heading into the pits Oh Urgently. my no, god! It's, no, it's going to end immediately! Will anyone pit straight onto a new set of tyres? I think Priya has gone on to a fresh set of softs. That'll, that'll be enormous for his race there. Oh, dude. For Priya to go from the hards to the softs immediately and benefit hugely from everyone having to make another stop, that's going to be a massive for their chances of a podium here. And Flix is going to stay on the hard tyres and coast away to a race win by a why a massive margin now yeah i wonder if it's even URTD worth it to pit. next just one lap on the inters and they're right back in for soft tires it's going to be priya coming through and fighting now for the chance to have two fiji falcons on the podium in the first race of the season oh wow yeah it might have been actually good for some people to stay on the inters because they uh they aren't that bad on uh, on a dry track and uh, you still lose like six or seven seconds just uh, with the pit. So uh, it could have been worth it to hold out for three to four laps. Maybe, uh, just, yeah, but basically maybe, everyone but pitted is, anyway. Uh, everyone did pit and now uh, Flix is up by half a lap on everyone actually. Flix is just about to start the final lap of the race. But all the attention is on the fight for P2. It's potentially four drivers because Tixman is also coming through the field as well. In P for um not Tixman Giovanni is James sorry is fighting for P two there all the way in P five Alexi and Red Loster fighting away for P six there as well it's Nakes and Priya trying to get through Priya is got that slipstream I think Nakes has got the slipstream onto um UR2D Master he makes the move makes a bit of a mess of the uh, exit but it's going to be Flix now finishing the race and uh just in a moment actually he's finishing the final. Now finishing the penultimate lap now. Yeah, we're getting into the last yeah. lap, and Priya is still in Nick's uh, slipstream, I think. She might have lost it right now. Uh, but it, it oh, can still happen, it. so uh, oh, it's still a fight it for now. the podium. She's definitely in it. Nakes makes a huge mistake. Priya has his opportunity to go side by side into the hairpin. Nakes has the inside. What will happen here? They both go... Uh, they both actually give each other a fair bit of room now. Flix has taken the win here for the first race of Season 12. Hey, Nakes goes through... But Priya has the inside. No, the switchback here from Nakes will take him to the podium. It's third for Nakes, second for URTD Master, and fourth for Priya. Bunny it's James finishes in P5. Then it's Red Loster ahead of Alexei Drozdov. Gregor Kaj with a solid race in P9. As uh, Flix has actually lapped everyone from P9 down. Sorry, Gregor Kaj in P8. Emery Knight and Krunk round out the top 10 now. Axperial, then it's Hopcat, Hippocat, sorry, in 12th. Mascabravis, followed by Tixman in 13th and 14th, with just Fox, Vepia, and Knapia to finish in what has been an eventful first race of the season. What are your thoughts about that, Eurist? Uh, yeah, that, that was uh, really exciting. Uh, I was wondering uh, if Priya was going to, to hold out. Uh, I think she was being... Um, we can see the difference there uh, of uh, what the rain did because Alexei was right behind Priya and he was probably going to uh, overtake her. Uh, but her choice of, uh, of tires there and the fact that everyone just pitted immediately uh, both times... Uh, she just uh, easily uh, won like uh, six seconds on uh, on everyone.
and got into yeah, almost got a podium that was really close and uh it could have uh, gone very differently she was also really close to master as well so if master did a small mistake she could have even uh, gotten p2 so that was an exciting finish uh, can you can exciting you finish for the p2 but uh the the standout driver of the day obviously flicks running away absolutely coasting away to the race win by 12 seconds and uh, takes a very well-deserved race victory here. UR2D Master and Nakes on the podium alongside them. Then it's Priya, Bonio, it's James, fourth and fifth. Red Lofts, though, with an interesting race, getting just past Alexei Drozdov at the end. They will be finishing sixth and seventh, respectively. Gregor Kaj in P8, followed by Emery and Mr. Crunk rounding the top ten out. And uh, for our drivers outside the top ten... Got Axperial in P11, a long way back from Kronk, actually. Hippocat right behind him, then it's Bravis in 13th, and it's Tixman, Fox, Vepia, Knapper, and then Amwa and Nickel09 are two DNFs for today. Yeah, and uh, that's it. That rounds out um, the first round of JL Season 12A. Uh, the first of five races and next week we will be racing in Kimi Ring. Yes, Kimi Ring for the uh, finish round. We'll have to see if uh, Flix can continue that dominance next time out. But for now that is all. Alright, have a good one.